So guys, boom. Welcome back to another episode of Juice Made TV. And today we have something questionable, but also rather interesting to talk about. Now, Zaire blessing Dwayne Wade. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, me too. I did not believe that this was actually Zaire Wade's full name, but if you look it up, Zaire Blessy Dwayne Wade. Guys, I don't make the rules. You have to smash that like button and let me know down below if you actually did not know this was his name. Zaire Wade. Guys, in my personal opinion, there's been so many mixed opinions about Zaire for the past couple years. And there's so many noises about people saying this about him. He's handed this. He only is in the NBA G League because of this specific reason. He's only even having this attention because of Dwayne Wade. Guys, there's so many mixed opinions about Zaire Wade. In this video, we're going to be breaking down Zaire Wade and the NBA. We're going to be giving our honest opinion about the entire situation. So make sure y'all watch the full video. Smash that like button. Grab some popcorn. Grab some ginger ale. Grab some scouts, sour skittles. Whatever you got to do. Yeah, with all that being said, guys, going to get straight into this video. So guys, boom. Let's go and take a quick step back. Kind of remind ourselves who exactly this man Zyra Wade is. Now, Zyra Wade is a 6'3", 176-pound point guard. And he is the son of NBA superstar and Hall of Famer the one and only Dwayne Wade. Now, Zyra Wade, he pretty much went to so many different high schools whenever he was in high school and he graduated in the year of 2020 at one of the most prestigious high schools known as Sierra Cannon. Now, I'm sure you watching this video, we all know who Sierra Cannon is. They have DeBronny James, the son of LeBron James. They have Amari Bailey. And at the time that Zyra Wade was actually playing for Sierra Canyon, that team was arguably one of the best high school basketball teams assembled recent memory they had bj boston who went on to be a second round pick for the la clippers they had zaire williams who was also a top 10 pick in that same draft they have amari bailey like i was saying and they also have Bronny james and of course they did have zaire wade guys like i said the amount of clout the amount of attention that this team was getting is honestly insane and once zaire wade actually announced that he was going to be teaming up with Bronny james Huh, guys, there was so much expectation, so many buzz about this crazy duo that we were going to see, which was actually going to be Zyre Wade and Bronny James. Now, me personally, I kind of already understood the situation that Zyre Wade was actually getting himself into. And I feel like a lot of people were kind of jumping the gun. Guys, you have to understand the team that Sierra Cannon is as a whole, forget the players. As a team, Sierra Cannon is a team that usually has all the top players in the country. And the way that their coach actually runs that program, there is no main star. If you notice, usually Sierra Cannon usually plays as an overall team. And if you just look at the stats on a game to game basis, nobody on that team is usually averaging around 30 points a game. Nobody's averaging even 25 or more. Usually everybody on that team is averaging or scoring usually around 6 to 18 points. And usually Amar Bailey currently is that type of player. But even when they had BJ Boston, Zara Wade, of course they would have their games when they went off. Even Bronny James. Bronny James was rarely even getting any playing time. And as skilled as an overall player that he is, that should kind of tell you the type of team and the coaching and the play style that Sierra Canyon actually plays. And guys, just saying that solely that's the specific reason why I already knew that Zyra Wade was kind of getting, he was kind of putting himself in a situation that was not going to turn out okay. And as you can see, so many problems actually came out of that situation. And as we all know, Zyra Wade barely even played on the court and he rarely even got any playing time. Of course, we will see the highlights on social media with Slam and Baller's Life, this, this, and that. Of course, they would be showing Zyra Wade hitting a dunk or a nice pass. But that really doesn't tell you the entire situation. This man, Zyra Wade, he was barely playing for Sierra Canyon. And even Dwayne Wade, his own father, said on national TV that he was not happy with the coaching style and the way that Zyra Wade was not getting any playing time. Now, as a result of everything that I just said, like I said, I kind of already knew the situation that he was getting himself into. And the type of player, then the type of play style that Zyra Wade has... In my personal opinion, it's not really catered to play for a team like Sierra Canyon. And I feel like Zyra Wade is more of a player that kind of needs his own team. It's more of a freestyle type of setting. And he can kind of be the main focal point of the offense. And I think that's why he did have a better season when he was playing for American Heritage. But Sierra Canyon, like I said, that's a completely different story. And as a result of that, Zyra Wade ended up his high school career being ranked as the 200. Guys, make sure y'all turn off the volume. What am I about to say? This man, Zaire Wade, he ended up being ranked as the 294th ranked player 
according to 24-7 Sports. And guys, man, <laughs> that's honestly kind of tough. And also for Sierra Canyon, although this is maybe not too, too accurate, he only averaged about four points a game for Sierra Canyon. And like I said, he barely even played and got any playing time. But guys, that's okay. We've heard many, many stories like this of players not receiving that much offers. They're not getting that much playing time in high school, but they went on to be NBA stars. And guys, even Zaire Wade's situation, before he even got to Sierra Canyon, he already had those small mid-major Division One schools. He had Rhode Island. He had Toledo. He had a couple of other schools. I'll probably pop it up on the screen. By Zaire Wade, a lot of colleges actually thought that he could have been a good piece for any of these programs. But in all reality, like I said, Zaire Wade, in my personal opinion, he did make the wrong decision to go see your Canada. Let me know what you guys actually think of down below about his decision. Now, where we are today, like I said at the beginning of this video, there is something that a lot of people around the entire country kind of hate about Zaire Wade. Now, I'm sure if you clicked on this video, you already know this, but Zaire Wade plays for the Utah Jazz NBA G League team called the Salt Lake City Stars and the reason why a lot of people are actually mad about Zaire Wade just being on this team as a whole is because his father NBA legend Dwayne Wade he actually owns some of this team and a lot of people were actually skeptical about the only reason why Zaire was actually in that position is pretty much because of Dwayne Wade. I even saw an interesting video on YouTube the other day where somebody was kind of comparing it to let's say that your dad is actually a manager at McDonald's and him just being the father that he is, he hires you to also work for his franchise being McDonald's. Essentially, if you kind of take a step back, it kind of is the same thing. But in my personal opinion, I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I feel like as a parent, that's the type of goal that you should have as a parent. And that's why Dwayne Wade worked so hard to get into that position to provide for his kids. I'm not saying that's the only reason why Zaire Wade actually got signed to the Jazz. I'm just letting you know what people out there are saying. And if that's the specific case, I don't think there's nothing personally wrong with that. Now, how good has Zaire Wade actually been in the G League so far? At the time of the recording of this video, Zaire Wade is actually only averaging about three points a game. And if you just take a look at the numbers, this was another reason why a lot of people were kind of skeptical about Zaire Wade in high school. One thing that I did always notice about people saying about him was his inconsistency. One game he will drop 10 points, the next game he will drop zero. The next game he will drop two, the next game he will drop eight. Guys, and if you just look at the stats on a game by game basis, we kind of see the same similarities here. And to me, that kind of says a lot about him as a player. And if we are gonna be honest here, there's honestly no excuse on why he should be dropping this low amount of points. I mean, he's getting the minutes. You can even see him out the minutes that he's playing. He's playing in enough minutes to drop more than three points, at least in my personal opinion. And I feel like there's just a lot of misconceptions about Zyra Wade. If we really take a step back and really, really think about it, guys, or at least in my personal opinion, I feel like there's a stigma. I feel like there's a social norm that Zyra Wade was this specific player and he was this specific good and he was this specific good just because he was Zyra Wade's son. And if you see the highlights, he's doing these crazy dunks, he's doing these crazy layups, he's doing these crazy jellies, all this specific type of thing. So it kind of paints this picture that he's kind of this superstar player when in reality, if you take a step back and kind of evaluate the player that Zyra Wade is, I don't. I never really thought Zyra Wade was a superstar type of player. I've always thought he was a great role player for a team. He was tremendous on the high school level. He's one of the toughest players that I've seen out there, especially on the defensive end. He has the confidence to play against anybody. He's not scared to play against anybody. But I think the tools and tangibles and the skills was the things that definitely needed some work, specifically his physical aspect and his body frame and just his height and just his IQ about the game and just his scoring ability. There's not a lot of things, especially at the moment, that was going to transfer to that next level, especially him just being so small now i do feel like he does have the potential just because he has the right people around him he's hungry like i said he has the confidence but i think the body frame aspect of things and his play style is definitely what's kind of holding him back at the moment but zyra wade is still a very young player i think he definitely has a ton of potential as well to be a great player you never know he could make it into the nba everybody in my personal opinion has potential to do it you just got to put the mind to it you got to have the body frame the size he's already 6'3 according to the internet and like I said, he has the right people around him. I just think Zyra Wade just made the wrong decision of actually going to the G League when I think he should have went to college. If you guys want a video of a more in-depth video of him of why I think he should have went to college, 
or some other options that he should have made definitely let me know down below guys and i got that for you guys what do you guys actually think about zaire wade what do you guys actually think about Dwayne wade's situation about him actually getting a chance to play in the g league guys just comment down below let's get a great basketball conversation started if you made it to the end please make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed this video please make sure you smash that like button share it subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers do what you got to do let's have a great basketball conversation in the comments make sure to join the discord check the links in the description yeah with all that being said guys Thank you for watching. It's been another episode of Juice Made TV. Peace.